I am Dr. Nakul Amata from Aspire MDS. Today we will learn about various generations of cephalosporin and how it works on which bacteria and how you can remember it easily. Okay, so let's talk about some points that you need to remember. In first generation, you need to remember that all the drugs that has got the words F A P H A or P H R A, they would be contained in the first generation cephalosporin. The only exception over here is C Feclor, that is a second generation cephalosporin. Okay. One more trick to remember is that every first generation drug had got Cepha in their name except Cephaclor. This also can be another technique or a trick to remember the first generation cephalosporins. Now when we talk about the uh, third generation cephalosporins, they have got one thing in common that they have got the endings with IME 1 or 10. Okay, So this would be the third generation cephalosporins. Here again one exception is there that is cefiroxime. Cefiroxime is a second generation cephalosporin. Now drugs which has got the name PI that would be included in the fourth generation cephalosporin and the drugs which contains ROL that would be in the fifth generation cephalosporin. Okay, so now let's see how it works in various <coughs> drugs. Okay, so first of all let's talk about the first generation cephalosporins as we have already talked it has got fa pha or phra so the drugs like cefazolin cefalothin cefaloridin cefadroxyl cefalexin and cefradine these are all the first generation cephalosporins now let's talk about the second generation cephalosporins they have two exceptions as we have seen one is cefaclor and cefiroxine okay so, rest another names that falls into this second generation cephalosporins are cefoxetin, cefrozil, cefmetazole, metazole, and cefotetan. So, these are the second generation cephalosporins. Now, when we talk about the third generation cephalosporins, they have got the uh, endings with IME 1 or 10. Okay. So, let's talk about these drugs. They are cefixin, ceftazidine, ceftazoxime. Cep cefotexime, cefpodoxime, ceftriaxone, cefoferazone, ceftibutane and two other names over here which does not follow these things are zephlinir and moxalactam. Now these two names you can uh, remember easily. They are not containing uh, the moxalactam doesn't contain cef so it would be falling in a third generation cephalosporin. Okay, now let's talk about the fourth generation cephalosporin. As we have already talked, that it has got the word PI in their name. So, cefepime and cefpyrom are the fourth generation cephalosporins. The fifth generation cephalosporins, they have got the word ROL. So, here what we see is septobiprol and septarolin. So, these are the techniques by which you can remember the drugs easily only remember the two exceptions over here in the second generation cephalosporin that are cefaclor and cefiroxine so to summarize we'll again see the things drugs that has got fa pha or phra they fall into the first generation cephalosporin exception is cefaclor now the drugs which has got ime 1 or 10 that falls into the third generation cephalosporin except cefiroxime that is a second generation cephalosporin. Now drugs which has got PI in their name that falls into the fourth generation cephalosporin and the drugs which has got role would be the fifth generation cephalosporin. Okay. So this is how you can easily remember various name of the drugs that fall into the cephalosporins. Now let's talk about the functions. How they function on which bacteria does they work. Okay, so when we you can just draw three arrows that would be the first arrow which goes from the first generation towards the second generation and the third generation. The first generation that works on the gram positive bacteria more on the gram positive spectrum that would be the uh, staphylococci, streptococci and even the E. coli bacteria also they work and lesser onto the gram negative bacteria. The second generation that is more onto the gram negative and less 
working on the gram positive bacteria and as we go pro proceed towards the third generation they are more functional on the gram negative bacteria and lesser functional on the <laughs> gram positive bacteria whereas when we talk about the fourth generation uh, cephalosporins they are uh, again more uh, working towards the gram negative spectrum and lesser towards the gram positive but still better than the third generation cephalosporins same way we can see the uh, working on the fifth generation cephalosporin also so this is how we can see the transition that gram positive to gram negative it goes as we proceed from first generation to the third generation <coughs> then comes the fourth generation which works on the uh, uh, gram negative uh, flora and more on the pseudomonas so it works on the pseudomonas also it affects pseudomonas bacteria <laughs> and also the fifth generation when we talk about they work on the mrsa so this is how you can remember that on what spectrum the cephalosporins work so that's all a easy technique to remember the functioning and the names of cephalosporin thank you